Now that I'm all finished with um, all the plumbing repairs scattered around the land after the big hard freeze back around Valentine's Day, I decided to uh, make a little improvement on a few things. One is the barn. We have um, minimal water pressure out here because the well house is way up there, several hundred feet away. So just the fact that it's a long line means the pressure is gonna drop. So I built the little accumulator tank out of a scrap tank I had out here that's still sound and no rust in it to um, let it come up to, to well pressure and equalize so that when you first turn on the hose out here, you get a burst of higher pressure. So um, I decided I don't have a gauge on it, so I'm gonna put a gauge on it and actually record the pressure drop, turning the hose on with just line pressure and turning the hose on with the pressure accumulator and see the difference and see how quickly it drops off. Might as well make it scientific. First step is going to be to cut the existing pecs and put in a little gauge manifold here. I've already got it prepped up. So all I have to do is um, put two, two connections with the pecs. First step is to equalize its pressure in the tank with the uh, well pressure. So it is slowly coming up as you can see. It'll, um, it takes a few minutes and it will um, slowly come up. There's several hundred feet, probably 500 feet of one inch PVC between here and the well. So there's definitely some line loss, but when it's not flowing, it'll still equalize. Hence the reason for this pressure accumulator it's, it won't flow to that kind of pressure, but it will store the pressure once it accumulates. And then there's only the width of the hose, the length of the hose, to, um, for pressure drop when it's in use. Granted, it won't use the pressure for a really long time. It will bleed off because it's not rebuilding the pressure in the tank like if there was a well pumping into it. But it will, every time you turn it off, it'll repressure. Then when you turn it on, It'll repressure, it'll, it'll drop again. And you'd have a nozzle or something to shut the tank off when you're not using the flow on either of the hose. Otherwise it'll just bleed down, it'll stay down. So we're just gonna give it a few more minutes here, a few more moments. It looks like it's like about 45 PSI right now. So I would say it's a good time to give it a show, I'm going to isolate the tank now at 44 psi. The tank is isolated, so this will be just the pressure of the line itself coming from the well. So you got a great little burst, and then it settles down to an okay pressure, but nothing major. We're not going to be putting fires or scrubbing any bleach off with this pressure. Turn that off and let it stabilize again. 
liquid filled gauge, but it still bounces when it gets a pressure hit. And it's stabilized again back at line pressure, about 46 PSI. So now I will open up the valve to allow the pressure from the tank to feed into the garden hose. Mid, mid 40s pressure and it is stabilized now fully open to the pressure tank and the well tank pressure so um yeah this is with that with the accumulator in line much better flow leave without a nozzle much better volume here the pressure will bleed down and it is bleeding down but it bleeds down slowly you've got a couple minutes of higher pressure and um, if you're using it to scrub scrub a stock tank scrub food dishes or something if you've got a nozzle something to turn off the flow when you're not using it you'll have pressure for a little while like as soon as i turn it off it'll suddenly instantly start building up pressure again it's not high speed but it will build up the pressure but i'm not going to let it build up all the way because i'm going to isolate the tank there's no real reason to have it fully pressurized when we're not using it because it doesn't take that long to isolate it or to, to repressurize it when we do need it but the concept works it definitely helps the pressure out here because our barn is actually solar powered there's no power coming to the barn so we can't really put a booster pump or anything on. We only have LED lights in it. We don't really need anything else. It's all battery powered. The barn, the, the tractor is parked in the barn. The barn itself is insulated. Um, it's, it's holds up pretty well. And at night, the lights, the LED lights are more than adequate to see in there just fine. In the middle of the day, they don't really do much. But um, then you can open up the big doors and have plenty of light for whatever you're doing in there. Now I'm gonna let that bleed down and shut down the well, the accumulator here, and call it a day. Again, if you like these, you never know what I'm gonna do next. So um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and come back and see what the next adventure is.